Yeah, ben, the past uh, 13 months or so have been incredibly difficult for people in all, works, in all walks of life. Um, in terms of squash, it's been a very challenging time for promoters to hold events with everything going on in the world. Are you able to explain what it's been like as a tournament promoter over the past year? Yeah, it's been frustrating. Um, I mean, I generally run the smaller side of things, satellite events and uh, challenger events. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously it's been great that the, the bigger tournaments have been able to go ahead on most of them. Uh, but obviously that only, I think there's probably seven, 800 male members. I'm not sure, maybe 300 female members. And that, so those big tournaments are probably only 20, 20% max of the players that are actually on the tour. Um, so yeah, not being able to put on the challenges and the satellites has been frustrating. So I've done my best to try and get things off, off the ground. Like we had one penciled in for December. Uh, a challenge of three at Bexley, but unfortunately that was cancelled pretty late notice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the, these things can't be helped. Obviously, we have to try and follow all the protocol, but, yeah, I just wanted to try and get some tournaments on for the players that were missing out. It looks like we're hopefully going to be in a position to have a UK PSA event every week from May the 17th to the end of August. What impact do you think that will have on professional squash in the UK? Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be amazing, not just for professional squash I think for the clubs that are reopening their courts um, to, their, to, the, to the general public to their members um, I think it's going to be a great way to relaunch the game back to those as well because they'll hopefully the ones that are in late June July August they can have uh, full spectators so it's going to be perfect for them to come in and watch some good squash but also I mean the players that have missed out on so many tournaments have literally 13 14 months and not a single event so the fact that we've now got I think it's roughly 50 15 events week, week to week is brilliant so they, they don't have to play obviously every event but at least they can pick and choose um, In terms of squash it's been a very challenging time for promoters to hold events with everything going on in the world um, however despite this we'll have the Cheen Classic as a uh, challenger tour event um, for the first time. Are you able to explain how, how that kind of came about? Yeah I, I, I guess there was um, a group led by, by Ben Ford that um, that started talking about how do we get um, get the tour back up? How do we maybe promote um, some of the pros into the clubs and and, and really start working out how to get and allow people to the, the pros to start building up their ranking points? So so he sort of led a bit of a group um, of us. Um, and we started bouncing dates around, and I, I guess from that there was a number of challenger tour events that that that, that came out. So so yeah, the um, the team squash squared one was, um, was 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 one that came into the mix. So it, it, and it's great to give folks a chance to go go chasing after those ranking points. But yeah, really good opportunity, um, and and our members get to see some quality squash all at the same time. Obviously, with COVID nineteen, this is kind of a, a new a new normal for events almost. Um, what what kind of things have you had to or do you have to put in place to kind of mitigate against the pandemic? Well, there's obviously, I mean, we've obviously had a period of, of, of absolute closure, which is which has been a sad time for everyone, I guess, that wants to play squash. Um, I think it's 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 all around um, you know, making sure with the we've got the risk mitigations in place, making sure the club adheres to to what it needs to do to be a, a well-behaved um citizen in these new COVID times. Um there's, you know, just making sure that, that we can facilitate the club. I mean, there's two angles. There's the there's the supporting of the event itself. There's the there's the actually how do we keep the club ticking over and make sure that members can carry on using the facility. And and and, and me and a, and a bunch of the committee have done have done a huge amount of work just to just to make sure that we can open as soon as possible. And and I think that's probably been felt around you know all of the community squash clubs around around the UK and around the world. Just just how do you get back? To playing squash as, as as quick as you can in a safer way as you can and and also be able to promote these sort of activities um but but first and foremost it's about it's been about getting getting the club members back to squash as well because they've all missed it as much as the pros have it's probably not as um as impactful but but they, everyone's definitely missed the scene and obviously holding an event for the first time you're kind of doing it after a global pandemic why, why did you why did you decide kind of now was the time oh because uh it, it's the excitement. It, it, we need a, a big bang for for starting with. You know, we've got everybody interested in. Everybody's looking forward to it. And I think if if you get a big bang, you you've got people back to squash. Then you've got people watching it. And um, my worry is that we won't get people back to squash. You know, we've missed an awful lot of young people um, and that that's what 
gets me because I'm chairman of Lancashire Junior Squash and it's the juniors that we need to get back watching top quality squash. Um, I believe from kind of the end of this month to the end of June, we're hoping to have one UK event per week on the PSA tour. What kind of impact do you think that that will have on squash in the UK? Oh, it's got to have a tremendous impact, isn't it? Because it's like the football. If you can watch the top quality football on the um, on the television, then you know it makes you want to play if you're a, if you're a junior. So if the juniors can watch um, top quality squash, then they if they want to come back. We've just got our juniors back, and it's increased. You know, we've got a very very junior a good junior section. We've had to do it in three three lots now, you know, beginners, um, intermediate and seniors. So we've got quite a few juniors coming back, but I'm worried about other clubs not having them back. So we, we can invite everybody to watch it.